What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at this awesome Tesla stock guys, this thing, look at it, look at this thing, skyrocketing, how many, like from last week to this day, Tesla has made a move of what, like 50-60 already, I mean guys this is awesome, in this video, let's take a look at the price action and can we soon hit $217? Now, why this level is so important as well? I'll talk about this, that throughout this video. So stick till the very end because price action is very important in this video that we'll be talking about. Tesla, guys, I have been calling out that all in all structure has been bullish on this since the time after earnings we gapped up and we got above $160 and $164. So structure has been since then bullish. You know all of that. I'll show you some of my bots as well in this video how it has been how they have been performing I'm loving the performance of of those as well so and I'll take you over the options data as well guys right over here we have options data and uh, we'll, we'll talk about what things are looking like over there and guys let's jump right into it once I let you know that none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes all right so let's get a couple of things out of the way first and well as you know today tesla is going up that elon musk has inked the deal guys he has done it china fsd approval tentatively is signed off it's done kaboom to the upside i mean all right i usually like to use kaboom when like things are plummeting but i mean to say you know um it's the rocket kabooming to the upside on tesla all right so we yes so tesla this morning well it was already in the pre-market 20 dollars up right but before before going into the technicals right i i want to take you over to my first of all the day trading bot and uh let's take a look at that how it did so um let me turn that on real quick and so yeah we got really good buying position even today so we got the pullback and I did if you have seen my morning video guys uh, this right over here Tesla stock home run that one you already knew that in the pre-market I talked about that Tesla yes it may pull back to this blue box that's when I drew this blue box for you guys right this is where I did the video in the pre-market and I said guys yeah pullback is fine that pullback can come all the way to this blue box and that's where it can find the support and guys look at it we found that double bottom support and we are rocketing up and my bot also gave the buy signal then and made good money out of it this is the last 30 trades of data on the left side table you can see that looking great and then um, there have been good trades as well there will be red days as well you know there is nothing nothing as if like every day is profitable there is not none of that but what I'm trying to say here is that you know this is what as for reference I use for education well as for my reference for my trading purposes but i only provide them under educational context you can go and use them however you like but the outcomes and any of that i take guarantee of nothing uh, the data says it for itself but that's what it is you know uh, i use it as a reference then let's take a look at swing bot as well real quick and uh, let's go to the 30 minutes Yep, so we had the swing buy position on Tesla when it was at $155 almost, yeah. You can see it over here, that's when my bot gave the buy position and this position is still open and look at the good, 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 awesome money it is in. So, huge move, right? Up here, the position is still open, you can see the position open, open profit loss here on the swing bot table, yeah, right up here on the top right corner. Cool, so that's just something I want to show you on my bots as well. Again, nothing is guaranteed. Um, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. I have two indicators, two trading bots and Wall Street alerts. Nothing more, nothing less, only for education and reference purposes. All right, so yes. Now, what we have here is Tesla gapped up. Awesome news, right, FST thing. And you already know that, guys, all these analysts, I can show you. Okay, so I want to show you, uh, first of all, some of the analysts who are downgrading. Now, this is part of one of my Wall Street alerts that alerts comes here. There are top four type of alerts that comes like upgrade, downgrades, price targets, 
insider trading, which is from corporations, and news with sentiment. Uh, and this upgrade and downgrade is one piece of that, and it just uh, it runs across all the instruments and in the stocks. Again, this is also part of my membership. So Tesla was just being hammered down, downgraded by everyone. One hundred and thirty-six dollars, one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and like I can go on and on and on. There are some, uh, there were still some st sitting strong, like RBC and all of that, two hundred and ninety-five, and Wed Bush as well, around two hundred and seventy dollars range, but. So many were like just downgrading Tesla to one hundred and twenty dollars, one hundred and you know, uh, this one is ridiculous, twenty-two dollars. This uh, this analyst is never accurate, whatever. Everyone was downgrading, guys. Everyone, right? And Tesla was beaten up here, right? And I told you that, guys. I mean, analysts will downgrade the stock when the stock is falling, right? And they will keep pumping up the stock when the stock is going up. Like they don't know when to enter the right time. If you listen to them, you would have missed all these moves on Tesla that guys we have been calling out, right? Like all these gap ups, all these moves, right? So that's why it's important that you learn how to do technicals. And um, that's my intention is to teach you how to do technicals so that you can make your own decisions. If you're going to just keep listening to analysts, look. If you would be like, oh, analysts are saying $125, $100, let's short it, short it. You would have already blown up your account by now, right? And there must be many people blowing up their account right now who were shorting, right? I mean, you, there is nothing problem in shorting. I short stocks as well. You know that. But I short them with technicals. It's not that I'm going in blind, right? And um, with proper stop loss and portfolio management, and Tesla was showing all the signs of bullishness from here, right? So it's looking awesome, guys. It's looking awesome. Now, let's jump into the price section from here and $217, most importantly. Can we soon get to that level now? So Tesla has already confirmed another area that I talked about that we can have a pullback in the pre-market I talked about as I just told you guys in the uh, this video as well. When I did the pre-market video, that's what I talked about, blue blocks. We got support here and we shot up after the pullback. That's where my bot also gave the buy position. Tesla is full-on bullish in the structure. Uh, we are above 20 and 50 days moving average. I mean, forget even about that, guys. Like, this is just bullish. I mean, if you don't, can't see that this is bullish, that's no, not my problem. Now, test. Okay, I still want to take a use case. What if, right? I always like to have a what if. Tesla will only start to. It's not going to be bearish though. Even if Tesla tomorrow lose one hundred and eighty-five dollars, sorry, and one hundred, yeah, one hundred eighty-four or one hundred eighty-five, it's not going to be bearish. Fifty days moving average is an underneath support. Tesla has a lot of room to stay bullish now, even till the level of one hundred and seventy-five. It will still remain bullish. That's just a place to enter, maybe re-enter more, right? So, and we have hit the top of the channel. You can see where that resistance came, right? Precisely where our top of the channel is. So if I take you to the four hour, sorry, one hour interval, you can see our hourly candle slowed down right at that precisely the top of the channel here, right? But yeah, guys, since we are on hourly interval, I just want to show you that, guys, it's a clear higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, nothing more than that. It's awesome. It's awesome. We are going to the moon. All right. Now, let's go to the daily interval. And I want to show you the $217 level, why that is so important and why I'm saying that that's where I'm watching the price action to go all the way up to. Because this is where, as if we continue to go higher and higher, this is where 200 days moving average will come all the way down here. So you, I will expect a price reaction over here. And then also this $217 level is a zone of this resistance back from here and things will get more clear guys if i just take you to the weekly interval actually yeah so this is where we have had this huge pivot resistance when tesla came back all the way from hundred dollars back up to 217 dollars this is where we have a, a resistance from back then then we had a huge good support as well here right so this and this is where another support is. So this is a good zone, right? Uh, this is an important zone together with 200 days moving average. That's why $217 level is a possibility, but also is an important level to watch for a further price reaction over there. Not saying it will become bearish and it will sell off, but it will. It may give some pullback here, 
and then we have to see that this channel hold and other levels as we will find i'll talk about those to hold and then a pullback and that can push tesla to 250 dollars as well and that's why that is very important and so far guys tesla is full-on bullish now let's go to the hourly interval and let's talk about the possibilities for uh, you know pullbacks or intraday what other things to watch what i'm going to do is i'm just going to turn off the intraday levels just so that we have some more cleaner chart here because i want to focus on the significant levels in this video because we are talking the higher level picture right now so uh, what we have is if tesla even uh, cools off to 187 at this point it is still bullish we are above 20 hours moving average even if it cools off to 184, that's still bullish. That's still just a pullback on it. Tesla, as I said, has a lot of room to stay bullish. Even until 175, it will stay bullish. I just hope it doesn't come that low, but it's still going to be bullish, okay? Uh, accordingly, you will trade the intraday and swing, right? So I'll, I'll give you the intraday play as well, but swing, it's full-on bullish right now. Now, as if we continue to break these levels, and now I'll have to turn on the uh, intraday level as well here but as if we break these levels tomorrow like 196 and 30 cents it's a continuation game to the upside and then you can be looking at 203 211 dollars tesla is making huge moves 14 dollars in a day so add 14 dollars to today's closing price 194 that brings you to 208 dollars if that's the possibility but tomorrow there's a possibility we will be you know testing uh, the limits with 200 dollars especially now how to do any short on it if you if you are taking a look for intraday short right I'm, I'm not gonna short tesla but just in case if you're like hey just tell me what to do for the short well guys then you gotta buckle up because you're gonna blow up your account most likely but anyways um you can watch the break of the level of 192 and 42 cents but you, you don't have much room for the flush here the only three dollars move there is much more room in the pullback to play to the upside than to the downside. But if anyways, if we lose this, the level of 191 as well and 192 together with 200 moving average on five minutes, then you can carry that short maybe down to 184. But likelihood of playing short tomorrow is uh, I'm not in the favor of that. Again, it can happen as per the cases I just told you. So you have to see the price action at these levels but to me the sentiment is looking still to the upside tesla is very strong i won't be surprised if we get another leg up tomorrow and test levels of 203 and 211 around that those ranges i won't be surprised so guys tesla is looking awesome awesome all right now let me take you to the real quick options data black is the today's closing price and then green are the calls red are the puts 180 a lot of calls are being played today here 100 sorry 50,000 almost 51,000 call options are being played here puts i'm just puts are cooked guys 150 puts 23,000 cooked 160 dollars puts cooked 21,000 cooked everything is cooked guys only calls are making money here but the surprising thing is that right now i'm not seeing because guys options traders are overwhelmed they never no one thought that tesla can pull this thing right they didn't think about it that's why we trade with the technicals because technicals gives you unlimited uh, flexibility to trade based off of the technicals because when you are in a direction the only thing you have to do is partially size out your profits manage the position and just enjoy the ride right that's that's the beauty of trading with technicals and shares now options is a different thing you have to get a right price the delta and all of that but i'm just showing you the sentiment here Puts are cooked, calls are making money, and let's see if tomorrow we'll see more calls come in here as well. But anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. There are a lot of other things as well. All the other stocks I have done, check those out on my channel. And if you need access to my tools, two trading bots, two indicators, everything that you see in my videos, and Wall Street alerts, links to my tools are in the description below of this video. All right, guys, with that, I'll see you in my next videos. Take care. Bye.